guys, in today's video, we're going to be doing some cooking. I'm going to be making some honey glazed chicken breast, sweet potatoes, and some white rice. Something really simple, but really good. Um, I made this about two weeks ago, and I didn't record it. I was actually going to, but I was trying a new recipe, as simple as it is. I didn't want to, you know, film it, and I didn't know how it was going to come out. But after I posted my pictures on Instagram and Snapchat, a lot of you guys said that, you know, you wanted me to film it and to actually do more cooking videos. So here we are. And <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get into this cook with me video. So let's do that. Um, let's just make sure we have everything. So we got seasoning, Himalayan salt, check. Seasoning of your choice, I like using garlic plus. Typically, I always use garlic plus in anything I'm making. So um, check. Yeah, herbs of your choice, so basil and parsley, check. And then just some black pepper, check. <laughs> and I got my glass of wine. Check. <laughs> I'm trying to get into drinking red wine, so. For the sauce, you're just gonna be needing some honey and some butter, butter with olive oil. And then I'm using just some regular liquid honey. The so last time I made this, I used a boiling pot like to boil the rice, but I actually just got a rice cooker in the mail and a crock pot. I ordered um, a rice cooker and a crock pot. So I think I'm gonna use the rice cooker today. What you also will be needing for this um, dish is obviously some chicken so we got some chicken breasts right here four pieces actually three and a quarter and yeah, just some leftover chicken breast I had from the last time I made it so and then you're also gonna be needing your sweet potato I've already cleaned my chicken with lemon vinegar whatever you clean your chicken with just make sure you clean your chicken I know there's this whole myth on like it doesn't matter how you clean meat meat is still I don't even know but I'll clean my meat, so it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna grab my garlic plus seasoning and I'm gonna put this all over the chicken. Don't be scared. You know, more seasoning the better. I'm gonna go in with some parsley. Then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of basil. Typically I like to use pink Himalayan salt. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. I like to literally like soak this into the meat. You know, you can use a brush. I honestly like to use my hands. And usually when I season meat, I use a bowl, but I forgot to buy like a ceramic bowl. It doesn't have to be ceramic, but that's what I used at home. I forgot to buy a big bowl to season my meat in. So I've just been doing it on my cutting board until I actually go buy one, which I should have done today, but it's cool. And then we're gonna flip it and add a little bit more seasoning. That's pretty much it for the meat. Um, ow. Do you want a glass? You didn't even finish. I got my wine. Wow. wow. It's strong. I'm giving the rosé and moscato. moscato. Should I put this? Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. I'm giving the rosé and moscato. Why are you saying it like that? Moscato, the rest. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Did I eat it? <laughs> Where did Ooh. you have this originally? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and peel our sweet potato. I forgot to get a peeler today. A peeler makes it so much faster, but we're doing it the old fashioned way. So I'm grabbing a knife and we're just peeling. I actually just forgot that I don't need this whole sweet potato. So I'm just gonna cut it in half. Not the best knife to use, but um, this one peels faster than the other knife I have. I'm gonna go ahead and slice these up. Doing small slices. All right, now that I have my potato slices, I'm gonna cut them up even smaller. So basically, I'm gonna cut them in half. Like so. I can even do like, I'm gonna cut the potatoes into four quarters. You can cut them obviously whatever size you like, but I like cutting them like this sometimes and it makes more. I'm gonna cut up a little bit more because we could use a little bit more. Thank you. 
All right, so I got my sweet potato slices and I'm gonna go ahead and season them. So right before I go ahead and season my sweet potatoes, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up my stove. So I took out my frying pan. I'm gonna turn on my stove and we're gonna put this to about that. I'm only, actually we're gonna do medium heat. For seven, it's not really that hot. Even 11, I usually cook on about 12 to 14. 14 obviously being the highest. I'm gonna be seasoning my sweet potato slices with the exact same seasoning that I used for the chicken. With three tablespoons of butter. That's one. And then you want to go in with two tablespoons of honey. Honestly, I'm just going to pour it in. I'm going to eyeball it because honestly, that's how I cook. <laughs> and you're just going to go ahead and mix that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. So I'm gonna let this cook for about five, six minutes. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn over my chicken. I did the other three pieces. I just wanted to show you guys. Look at that. Mmm. I'm gonna only do this for about five minutes or three minutes on the side because it's actually cooking pretty fast. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the oven. So for my rice, I use basmati rice. It's my favorite rice to use. I'm only gonna do two cups, actually. Because honestly, once this boils, y'all, it's a lot of rice. So the chicken is pretty much done. I'm going to go ahead and add this into this pan. And I'm going to put this in the oven. But as you can, mmm, that looks so good. But yeah, I'm going to put this in the oven for about 10 minutes. No more than that, because as you can see, it's clearly already cooked. What I like to do is take some of the sauce and pour that onto the chicken. I need a brush, I know. And we're gonna go ahead and add the sweet potatoes. I'm gonna be doing the same thing, same ratio of butter to honey. And after I do the sweet potatoes, I'm gonna add it into this pan as well and then put it in the oven for 10 minutes and then we're done. I almost forgot to tell you guys that I personally like to add a little bit of butter and salt into the boiling water before adding my rice, so um, yeah. But look at the sweet potatoes, they are almost done. That's just the honey that is burnt. But I'm gonna go ahead and take it out because I'm gonna go ahead and bake it so that they can get a little bit um, crispy. All right, you guys, so our food is done, finally. Mmm, it smells so freaking good. Like We have our honey glazed chicken, we got our sweet potatoes. Now I will say the presentation of the sweet potatoes isn't the greatest. Honestly, when I made it the first time, the sweet potatoes looked a lot better, but it's all good. It's just because the honey was burnt. I used a little bit higher heat than I did before. And then we have our rice in the rice cooker. Yes, so, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't. Rhea's trying it, you guys. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Some rice in it. Okay, okay. Mm. It's actually good. Wow. Like it doesn't taste dry, like Really? Yeah, that's yes. shocking. Oh my god, Dana. On <laughs> oh, I you think cook. So did you think I couldn't cook? Like did yeah, you? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, um, um, there's your proof. I can cook. For everyone that says I can't cook. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit. I didn't make my plate yet, but I'm gonna try with a little sweet potato. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I'm tipsy and can't, I'm sorry. But that shit is good, yo. All right, you guys, so that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this cooking video. I honestly love cooking, so let me know down below in the comments or to give this video a thumbs up, actually, so that'll help let me know if you guys like these kind of videos. So, um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video.